Hey, what's going on, y'all? Now, today's video is going to be on a topic that's dear to my heart because it's proven itself in so many different areas of my life. But it's retention especially. Retention especially. You know, when you're on this journey of retention, you're going to realize the one thing that holds you, the one thing that will carry you through this journey is consistency. This video is on the fact that consistency is key. This is especially for when you're on retention, but this goes for life in general. When you're living your life, going through your day-to-day -day activities, trying to complete goals, aspirations, these things that you'd like to accomplish down the line, these things that you'd like to see happen for yourself in life, the one way that you will get there, near guaranteed, is consistency. I want to start with a very simple example, but let's first describe and define what consistency is and looks like. Consistency is time and dedication applied. Consistency is dedicating yourself to something for a long period of time and then reaping the benefits of that result. Reaping the benefit of the outcome from all your grinding, all your dedication, all the time that you've put into it. Something really simple. My dreadlocks here. Whenever I was starting off on this journey, the dreadlock journey, I had very tiny twists, very tiny twists. I was doing those every day, very tiny twists with a dread sponge, a microfiber towel, just twisting my hair up every day. And I would go around other people I mean, I remember going over to my friend's house and his mom was looking at me and it's like, okay, so uh, what are you doing with those? So uh, what are those? <laughs> and I like the, the freeform dreadlocks. They're going to be dreadlocks someday. She's like, oh, really? Really? Those are going to be dreadlocks, huh? <laughs> the doubt evident. But I, in my heart of hearts, in my soul, I had the vision. I saw what they were going to be. I'd seen enough dread journeys. I'd looked at enough of other people's journeys to see that they had turned their little twists into full locks. Now, sure, I might have felt a little doubt in my heart, a little discouragement from the fact that other people didn't believe in my dream, my vision, but I kept faith. And in time, those locks turned into nice sticks on my head. There were some sticks, and I had a little head of spikes, and people were like, Interesting. Okay, so you, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta so what are you gonna do with that? You gonna cut those off? You gonna, you know, what are you gonna do with that, man? Interesting. You know what I'm saying? They still didn't see it. They still didn't see it. All they saw was a bunch of spikes. They didn't see dreadlocks yet. But I had the vision. I saw the progress. And so I kept faith. I kept. I trusted myself. I trusted my vision that these these <laughs> sticks on my head would eventually turn into locks. And indeed, in about a year's time, those sticks, those coils turned to sticks, and those sticks turned into locks. Those locks started to hang a little bit. And then people were like, oh, okay, 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 so yeah, so you just got to let them get long, huh? So you just got to let them get long. Yes. Yeah, you should have believed in me way back then. <laughs> you should have saw the vision way back when. But he, even though they didn't see it, they didn't have to see it for me to decide to commit. And now look at them. You know, I'm about two years and some in. And they hang like a motherfucker. <laughs> they hang down low. You know what I'm saying? They got airtime. They swing. You know what I'm saying? If I wanted to, they can do that. You know what I'm saying? That's the power of time and dedication applied. You know, there's this story, um, and I'll, I'll keep it short, but a little history lesson for y'all niggas. <laughs> a little history lesson for y'all. You know, there's a, there's this uh, story about Britain, you know what I mean? Rome, they left Britain. They, they, they invaded Britain, conquered it, Romanized all those tribal Britons. And then they left. And so those tribal Britons who were Romanized, they started acting like Romans, but after Rome left, they went right back to their old ways. You know what I mean? And those old ways did not keep them in healthy shape, didn't keep them disciplined. They were wild men. And there were very few of them that held on to that. And in the story I'm reading about, you know, Arthur, King Arthur, you have this guy, Uther, King Uther, high king of, uh, you know, the land. And he's fallen apart in his old age because he went back to those wild ways. But there's another king, King Tudric, and he has a general, Agricola. And this Agricola has maintained his dedication 
to the Roman ways, to the Roman discipline. And in his old age, he's a similar age to King Uther. While King Uther is falling apart, and I mean bloated and sickly, he's the same age standing with perfect posture because he has spent his whole life standing with perfect posture. He has spent his whole life applying that discipline. And so in his old age, when he finally reached that point, he was able to maintain his health, his good looks, his perfect posture, because years and years of discipline led him up to that moment. Whereas the man who fell back into his wild ways, into you know, eating like a pig, you know, unhealthily, he fell apart. So time and dedication will carry you farther than you than any of your surrounding mates, than anyone that you see around you. you know, anyone who's not applying this discipline. Anyone who's not applying that dedication. You know, you can take it for something super simple, like just trying to accomplish a goal. Not just like goal like dreadlocks, but just trying to like get where you're going. A lot of times people will put in a little effort and burn out. They'll put in a little effort and they'll be like, yeah, was it even worth it? Did I even really want that? And they'll stop doing it. That's how you fail at life. Because if you build up that habit of doing something a little bit and then just burning out, especially when it comes to retention, you know what I'm saying? If you just do it for a little bit and burn out, go back to relapse and do it for a little bit and then relapse again, you'll never see the fruits of this journey. You'll never get to where you'd like to be. You'll always be stuck in a stagnant, rotting state. You'll be decomposing for the rest of your life and end up like King Uther. You know, if, if that's if that's the, the most evident example, please use that. Because it's like, listen, there's, there's one way to get where you're going. There's one way to stay healthy. And in fact, I would argue the only natural state of the universe is change. Things only ever change. And so you have to maintain your frame throughout that change. You know what I'm saying? If you can if you can apply that dedication while everything is changing around you, you will get somewhere new. You will move forward in life. You know what I mean? You will change states. As long as you can hold on to your core throughout it all. You know, you see these people out here that haven't applied that. Who are deciding to just... You know, blow like, you know, willows in the wind. They decide to start something and then just fall off it. You know what I'm saying? And again, you stay in that state of rot. That state of decomposition. You mess piles up around you. If you cannot stay consistent with cleaning it up. And there's a sorry state to be in. When, because there's really two alternatives here. When you're consistent, let's say let's say with something like cleaning, because it's talking about mess here. You're consistent with cleaning. Your state, your room, whatever you're in, will always stay clean. Your mind even. Clean your mind up, bro. This is like not taking in all the porn, not taking in all this goop got that's the world shoving into our heads through TikTok and social media. I'll make a video about that too. But Keeping your mind clean, whatever it is, keeping it clean and staying consistent about keeping it clean maintains its cleanliness. If you clean up for a little bit and then let it get dirty again and then clean up a little bit and let it get dirty again, you're in this cycle of clean and filth. Your state, you know, I mean, the habit that you're building up is accepting filth. You're going to stay in filth. Inevitably, your filth is going to pile up again. And you'll stay in a filth versus organizing that filth into the trash bin. Keeping everything and and here's let me let me tell you the secret of cleaning, bro. Have a place for things to go and keep them in that place. And once and when you see that it's out of that place, put it back in that place. You know what I mean? Like if trash, if you see some trash piled up, put that in the bin. You see your laundry on the floor, put that in the laundry bin. You know what I'm saying? Like if you there, there's a place you should have a place for these things and put them back there. But we're getting a little off topic. Consistency is key. If you can't stay consistent. You're going to fall off the path. And once you're off the path, it's a lot harder to get back on. You might stray on the path and listen, not every day you can stay consistent. There's going to be some days where you where, you know, you know, things happen that knock you off. Things happen that that just, you know, hold you back, that hold you down. But at the end of the day, if you can get back up, if you can not let it stop you, not let it knock you down completely. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of times you can take a knee, you take a knee, but from that knee, it's a lot easier to rise than if you got fully knocked out. So just keep in mind, 
Even on the bad days, even on the days where you lose the battle, you have yet to lose the war. You have yet to fool completely. So get back in the frame and maintain it the best you can. And the more you do so, the easier it will be to maintain that frame in the future. The stronger you will be while maintaining that frame down the line. All right, y'all. Hope you got something from this video. Hope that this inspired you to maintain your consistency in this life. And uh, I'm sure you can see some examples for yourself. I mean, look at a YouTube channel, for example. Just putting in a little, a little effort every day, a little effort every day, you're going to start seeing some results. And it, sure, they may not come instantaneously. You know, it was a long time. It was years before these dreads ever actually turned into full dreadlocks. But it was because I maintained a consistency in the off time, in the time where they were struggling to grow, when people didn't have faith in what I was doing. They turned into full locks. Because I kept applying pressure. Do not take your foot off the gas pedal, my friends. Stay on top of it. All right. Take care, y'all. Peace.